Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are reading Hanukkah Bear by Eric A. Kimmel. Baba Brenna makes the best latkes in the village, and they lure an unexpected visitor into her home. Let's figure out together who it is. Stick around to the end of the video for a new animation. Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Baba Brina took the last potato latka from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Baba Brina was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to. But she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Baba Brina always made plenty. But tonight, she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Baba Brina hurried to get ready. Just then, she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. Grrr, growled Old Bear. Happy Hanukkah to you two. Please come in. Old Bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Baba Brina tugged at Old Bear's fur. Old Bear roared. Growl. Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know, we don't eat until we light the menorah. Grrr. That's all right. I know you were teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Grrr. Baba Brina struck a match and lit the shaman's candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. <coughs> Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Baba Brina sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. <coughs> Growled Old Bear. Don't worry. I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Baba Brenna spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win! Baba Brina swept the nuts into her apron. Roar! Old Bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi. No more nuts. It's time for dinner. Baba Brina opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Baba Brina asked. <coughs> Old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Baba Brina smeared five big latkes with the jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Baba Brina laughed. You should use a Fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel 
and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that, Baba Brina said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Baba Brenna's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Baba Brenna took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Grrr. Old Bear licked Baba Brenna's face. Baba Brenna blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age? Old Bear shuffled to the door. Grrr. He growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Baba Brina was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Baba Brina. All her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Baba Brina said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry, I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Baba Brina. Don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everybody said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Baba Brina rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, rabbi. I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then, the children cried. Look at the floor! Bear tracks! A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi? Baba Brina had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear. Or a very foolish Baba Brina. Ah oh, well. Let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too. And so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, old bear, and happy Hanukkah.